Top stories from around the island. To the point. Without the fluff. Puerto Rico headline news. Please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification. Hello and welcome to Puerto Rico headline news for March 30th, 2020. If this is your first time here, I ask that you please subscribe. Don't be afraid to share this valuable content and like the video as well. Uh, it'll make it easier for others just like you to find this valuable information on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get into what's going on today. Uh, a sixth death was reported uh, in Puerto Rico just, uh, because of the coronavirus or COVID-19. And this is occurring amid a federal investigation of the Puerto Rico Department of Health. So I'll cover a little bit about what's going on in that regard. But here's the headline coming out of El Nuevo Día for today, Monday, March 30th. So let's go ahead and cover this article and see what the latest updates on the coronavirus are here in Puerto Rico. And it, it says, a 68-year-old man who began to develop symptoms associated with the coronavirus after traveling to New York and coming back to Puerto Rico is the sixth victim of uh, the coronavirus in Puerto Rico. And that's uh, reported by the Department of Health. And they confirmed this. The agency also reported that the number of confirmed cases is now at 174. And this represents an increase of 47 new confirmed cases compared to the data yesterday. According to the Department of Health, 27 of these cases are men and 20 are women. The article continues to mention, uh, it was reported that the man who died from the virus was hospitalized in the Bayamon region where he was tested for coronavirus, which yielded a positive result. Now, according to the agency, the man's health assessment was complicated, and this resulted in his death. So let's take a look at this following graph that I've been showing in, in the videos. And here we can see the trend of confirmed cases that are occurring here in Puerto Rico. Uh, the data started to be rep uh, was began to be reported on March 13th when its first confirmed case was reported. Uh, and now, March 30th, we're, we're seeing the, the, the drastic uh, trend, um, the uptrend that we're able to see here as far as confirmed cases. So let's go back to this article, oh, and, and it says here, uh, this death is added to that of two men, uh, so far who have died, 68 and 42 respectively, to that of a Puerto Rican, 48 years old, followed by a tourist from New York, uh, 73 years old, and an Italian tourist, uh, 68 years old. And here's another graph that's been uh, put together by the Department of Health here in Puerto Rico, just to get a better picture of what's going on. So the top uh, uh, bar line we see is our pending cases. Uh, so there's 794 pending cases. Uh, we're still waiting on results of people who have been tested to see whether they're uh, they're they're co confirmed coronavirus, if they've tested a positive or negative. Uh, of the uh, of the so far um, test tests that have been taken, 931 have come back negative, 174 have been positive. There's been six deaths and I think we're seeing this number for the first time, uh, two that have recovered. Um, so that gives us a better picture. The article continues to mention that we're entering a critical week here in Puerto Rico. The health secretary, Lorenzo Gonzalez Feliciano, acknowledged that the numbers of confirmed cases and deaths continue to increase. So citizens must stay at home. And then he's quoted as saying, this should serve as an alert for all that we are facing a serious situation in which each one must assume active responsibility. We must abide by the instructions of social distancing given by the government and avoid leaving your house. This will be the only way to stop the spread of the virus, the official stated in a press release. He also explained that of the 47 new cases reported today, 14 were confirmed by the Department of Health. Uh, their lab. Two were confirmed out of the Veterans Hospital and 31 confirmed cases uh, are from 
the private laboratories around the island that I've also begun testing and reporting. Here's an additional graph that helps us uh, better, better understand what's going on here. And, and these are the confirmed cases broken down by age. So we see there that the highest concentration of confirmed cases are for those between the ages of 50 and 59. Uh, and then it, it goes down. The next higher level is the ages of 40 to 49. Uh, and then 60 to 69. So, I mean, it's pretty much spread all around. Uh, so none of these age groups should drop their guard. We shouldn't drop our guard uh, regarding the uh, COVID-19 and the possibility of becoming infected. So we, we should keep our guard up regardless of whatever age we find ourselves in. Now, the article continues to mention uh, the towns that have reported the most cases are San Juan and Caguas. However, the Department of Health does not yet have complete data by municipality. They don't have the, bra the breakdown by the municipalities. They're currently working on that. And they will also begin, hopefully this week, they'll begin contact tracing as well. What, what is contact tracing? Well, that's when they have a confirmed case uh, and they try to track down or trace all those that may have come into contact with that confirmed case. Family members, relatives, um, whoever they are, and then they, they contact them and let uh, inform them that they've been in touch with someone who's, been a, who's now a confirmed case and they should take the precautions necessary um, you know, maybe even quarantining themselves or just being alert to keep, to stop the possibility of them uh, infecting others. So it's a, it's a nice, uh, you know, something that very important to do to let those that uh, uh, may have come into contact with someone who's now a confirmed case take the necessary steps to protect themselves and their own families and friends as well. So the article continues to mention, Gonzalez Feliciano pointed out that so far, 1,898 coronavirus tests have been carried out, of which 930 have come back negative, while they're still waiting on the results for 794 of those tests. For his part, the director of the Coronavirus Medical Task Force, Dr. Segundo Rodriguez, announced that Puerto Rico is entering a decisive week of the spread of the disease on the island. So it is expected that cases will continue to increase. And here's a, 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 some, a, back, um, a breakdown of the regions, not by municipality, but by region. And here, once again, we see this 83 number, and that's the, uh, the metropolitan area, San Juan. You have the Caguas area here, and over here you have the Maya West uh, region. And you have somewhat of a, a rural, rural areas out here with lower numbers, but still, once again, uh, we, we all have to be cautious and alert and protect ourselves um, in this regard. So we'll continue on uh, with this article. Uh, epidemiological data indicates that positive cases will continue to increase. However, we all want to control the spread of this virus and prevent as many cases as possible. We all have a duty to collaborate in this effort. The responsibility is collective and the message is one. Stay at home is what the, the doctor said. So once again, um, there's a video that I put out regarding the lockdown, the added measures that have uh, are taking place. Today it was announced that if you do go out in your vehicle and the license plate does not match or allow you to be out and about in your car for that particular day, your car will be impounded. So they're getting very, very serious in this regard. So once again, uh, you can go back and, and watch those videos that I, that I put together regarding the lockdown and, e and any other information uh, that's pertinent to what's going on here in Puerto Rico along with the coronavirus. So at the outset, I mentioned about the Department of Health. Uh, amid all this that's going on, uh, unfortunately, the Puerto Rico Department of Health is now under, under federal investigation. Um, now, this is uh, Concepcion Quiñones de Longo. She just resigned uh, earlier this week. 
And um, as a result of her resignation or of her resigning, uh, a lot of information has come out about how the Department of Health uh, has operated, uh, what she was able to see during her short interim time serving there. And there's a lot of information that's coming out now, uh, breaking news, and it's still being added. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consider making a video uh, on what's going on. And it all resulted out of um, earlier this week, it was reported that 500 testing kits for the coronavirus had disappeared. And she was asked about it, and she straight out said she didn't know where they were. Where they were. So she uh, conducted an investigation and uh, there's accusations of corruption within the Department of Health, nepotism, uh, those that are taking uh, in high positions, hiring friends and family that are unqualified, uh, getting paid $80 an hour. Uh, she saw this. Uh, it took immediate steps to correct it. And unfortunately, she, it was a battle she couldn't win and had to resign uh, she also reported on mishandling of COVID-19 testing supplies. So this is breaking news. The investigation seems to be wrapping up, or some reports are leaking out on what's happened so far there. Um, and so I'll, I'll, I'll prepare a video uh, toward the end of this day, or if not by tomorrow morning, uh, regarding this situation of the, uh, the corruption uh, within the Department of Health and how they're being investigated as well. So once again, uh, I ask you to please subscribe, share this information, especially with those here on the island that don't have access to Puerto Rico um, English-based news that's not available or easily accessible. This can definitely help them out. And uh, the majority of my uh, viewers, uh, interestingly enough, are based in the United States. So a lot of uh, we have a lot of uh, friends out there in the States and the mainland who are interested on what's going on here in Puerto Rico. And uh, so I ask you to please share. Like these videos so that they're easily found on YouTube for others to, uh, to, to enjoy and be up to date on what's going on here. Um, and uh, that's basically what, I, what I, I ask if you can do that. So once again, thanks for watching. This is Puerto Rico Headline News.